poppin' you guys, it's your girl Melissa and today I have a very very highly requested video for you guys. It is actually how to wear color, how to dress and wear color, look professional, look cute, look classy, not look like a five year old, which sometimes I honestly do look like a five year old, but I'm gonna show you guys what goes through my head when getting dressed in the morning and how I incorporate a lot, a lot of color into my wardrobe. As you guys know, I'm a very colorful fashion type of person. So I'm gonna share with you guys how I I incorporate some color in my wardrobe without looking like I'm five years old. This was like one of the most highly requested videos for my YouTube channel. I get like DMs all the time. I get like comments and all that stuff. So I thought, you know what? Let's just cover it in a whole entire video for you guys. If you're new here, please subscribe down below before you leave. Also follow me on all my social media, my Instagram, my Snapchat, and of course my Depop because I actually have a ton of looks that I'm sharing with you guys in this video that I put together, which a lot of those pieces you can grab up on my Depop. So make sure you go check out my Depop. And also if you're just here for some outfit inspo I have a ton of looks to share with you guys and examples and stuff so that's always fun too but without further ado let's get into this video okay my absolute favorite way to wear color this is not necessarily incorporating color into your wardrobe well it is but it is literally wearing a full monochromatic outfit which means you're wearing all of one color for the whole entire outfit and you're, you're probably like whoa Melissa like I'm just trying to incorporate a little bit of color into my wardrobe Wardrobe. Well, this is actually one of the easiest ways to wear color because if you're wearing a monochromatic outfit You literally do not have to think about what goes with what what goes with that But what goes there what goes here? You don't have to think because all it is is all of one color So all of orange pants orange top orange shoes orange purse orange whatever you want purple all blue all green all yellow This is literally my very favorite tip to give you guys because I absolutely love wearing monochromatic looks first of all I think it's just like such a statement and it's so much fun and you don't look that crazy because you're not mixing and matching a ton of patterns or well actually you could you could throw in some patterns but some color like some of the same colored patterns in there um, but you're not throwing a bunch of different colors in to one outfit so it's actually a lot more toned down than you think and I love the look of a good monochromatic look okay the second tip that I have for you guys is to know the trends because if you own something that is white and something that is trendy that's cool you can wear it white or black or cream or nude or whatever color but if it's also on trend and you wear it in green it doesn't throw every one off as much either because it's technically the same piece it's just a different color so for my example I have black chain pants Pants that are like kind of like the IMG ones. I got them for at Forever 21 for super cheap And then I also got the red ones because they're the exact same pants But one it makes such a bigger statement even on my Instagram you guys were like, oh my god Where'd you get those pants? Where'd you get those pants? The black one nobody really cared but the red one super on trend and they grab the attention of everybody and you know Trading in trends for different colors is some way to incorporate color without going too much out of the box Okay, we'll talk about the primary colors in a second But one color that I've kind of touched on already is red Red is your best friend, okay? Red, I can almost, I almost feel like red is almost like a neutral. Like a lot of people, almost everybody looks good in red. Red is your literal best friend. Red is your best friend. Just remember that if you are completely stuck on wearing color or what color to wear, wear red. Red looks so good under cream. It looks so good with black. It looks so good with white. It's that color that looks good on everybody. It's a statement color. Everybody will be like, whoa, you look so good today because red very eye-catching. Just remember that red is your very best friend like this beautiful look I would totally wear this look to like an, an office job or like if you're a teacher or literally any honestly this is just like such a high fashion look like I would wear this on an everyday basis because you just like look like a boss ass bitch red is definitely a bad bitch color and one that I highly suggest you start to incorporate in your wardrobe if you do not have a lot of color in your wardrobe get some red because red is not a color that is like so outside of the box okay now we'll talk about primary colors if you are an OG Threads obsessed, threads obsessor, threads obsessed fan, or been here for a while watching my videos, you guys know I love primary colors. Primary colors are my absolute go-to. Primary colors never go out of style. They're always kind of on trend even when they're off trend. They go with ev like everything. They go together. They're just like the three key colors in a wardrobe that you want to have in your wardrobe or on hand in your wardrobe. Blue, technically you have that so much in denim. So denim already is like a part of your outfit. You can add like red and yellow. You can wear all three of them together. I love wearing red and yellow together. I think it's such a cute eye-catching statement. statement outfit. Like this blazer and this red underneath. It's 
just looks so good with these jeans. Have all the primary colors there, and it's just like a done deal. It looks like I'm not even trying when I'm trying because I'm wearing primary colors. Um, primary colors are just such a key to wearing color in your wardrobe because I know how hard it is to again pull off some lime green if you're not used to wearing a lot of color but red, blue, and yellow are the three key colors to have in your wardrobe. They go together, you can wear them together, you can wear them separate with a lot of things or the three keys, the primary colors. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the type of people who, or if you're watching this, love an all black outfit and are a little bit afraid to branch out a little bit more. My biggest suggestion to you is to grab some colorful accessories. So you don't necessarily have to wear a full red dress or a full red top or a full yellow pair of pants or if that's too much for you, you can literally wear color everywhere else. You can wear them in earrings, you can wear them in clips, you can wear them on your nails. It goes so much further than you think. You can wear it in a, in a bag, in a belt, in shoes. Accessorize it with color and stick to one color if you're not too sure you want to branch out or stick to just adding one colorful accessory and then add another colorful accessory next time. But accessorize with with color because you know it could turn one super plain black outfit or beige outfit into something so good okay the next way to add color into your wardrobe is suits or track suits I love a good track suit for when I'm literally so lazy I can just throw on a colorful I have a bright red one I have a green one I have all these beautiful adidas track suits so clutch when I just want to look put together I'm lazy I'm in a rush but I still want to stay on brand with threads obsessed when I go thrifting you know I I have to wear my color so I will throw on a Adidas tracksuit or a tracksuit or a vintage tracksuit or an old-school tracksuit early 2000s tracksuit and it literally you always look put together and then if I have an event to go to I honestly always gravitate to a suit or a matching suit set because it's not too much it's it's a lot because you know it is like a statement but it's not a lot a lot I'm not mixing a lot of patterns together like this beautiful vintage floral piece two-piece set that I picked up is stunning oh my gosh I hope this goes to an amazing home or like a suit set that's like lime green I love lime green suit sets or a skirt set anything like that you don't have to put any thought into it and you look bomb AF and there's lots of color I mean you could obviously Obviously wear a beige one or a black one or something and then add accessories um, colorful accessories to it as well but honestly just wearing like a two-piece set or a suit set something like that that's color it's a done deal throw on a black turtleneck underneath you don't have to add any more color if you don't want to you can always you can always add more color if you would like to which we'll get to in a second okay, this kind of comes into the end of the question where how do you wear color without looking like you're five so a lot of times when you're wearing a lot of color and like there's certain pieces that you're wearing maybe wearing that kind of like are kiddish a lot of the stuff that I pick up it's pretty kiddish like my biggest tip is to wear a blazer you don't have to wear a black blazer you can wear a colorful blazer if you want to start to incorporate color and you're just like not sure or you want to wear it like to an office or to, to school or something um, maybe you're in university and you want to look still professional but you also especially like a fashion student you you kind of want to like think outside the box a little bit to dress up a little bit for a class or business class or whatever you don't always have to wear black and gray and cream because that's professional you can always 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 stumble outside the box a little bit and still wear that blazer or that long skirt or something my favorite is a long a beautiful midi skirt just looks so professional with a blazer it looks so good blazers are my biggest tip and not just like a plain black blazer it could be like a yellow bliss beautiful yellow blazer I have so many blazers that I love also you could all always wear a blazer even if you're not going um, anywhere professional like I love wearing blazers on every day if you look at my Instagram literally every like couple posts I will have a post with a blazer on I love to wear jeans with a blazer I love mixing and matching very casual pieces with a little bit more of business pieces so I love a good blazer with jeans and some sneakers I love that's my absolute go-to but if you're going somewhere pro more professional you can always wear like a pair of jeans with a blazer and then some heels if you can't wear jeans you can just wear some black pants or you you know some like colorful pants if you want to push it a little bit more but I have this beautiful vintage blazer that is absolutely stunning and it just looks so good with a pair of jeans and sneakers and it is just absolutely stunning and you know you don't look like five you're wearing a super out there floral pattern but you look so extremely put together and look like you mean business okay know your favorite 
color combos. So I'm in a rush. I know my favorite color combos. I know that I love yellow with red. I know that I love blue with orange. I know that I love green and purple. Like I have these already in my head. So as soon as I go in my closet, I like, I know this color goes with this color and I know this color goes with this color and I know this goes with this. White sneakers go with absolutely everything. I'm good. I have my outfit. But this will go with this and this will go with this and this will go with this. Red will go with blue. I know all of these color combinations are in my head and um, I think that's why I've gotten so good with dressing using color because I literally can tell you what will perfectly go with something. Also, I take a lot of Depop pictures so I'm consistently and constantly, you know, making outfits, creating outfits of different colors to go with different colors. My favorite color combinations are like pink and red. It just looks so good. So like at the back of your mind, just know in your wardrobe, especially if you have a wardrobe that you have only, you know, 20 pieces, you can get really good at just knowing what goes with what. You literally will never have to think ever again. Also knowing what doesn't go with what is also a very, very um, good tip. Like I don't, what co two colors don't really, oh like orange and red. Cute sometimes. Diff more a little bit more difficult to pull off not something that I would go for totally orange and blue Love that color combination it looks so good So yeah, just know your color combinations and know which outfits and which colors go with what this is something that I see talked about a lot I personally don't really follow it because I don't really need to follow it and I'll get to that in just a second It is the color wheel So if you look at the color wheel and I'll put a color wheel up here You can see each colors go with each other and it, it's basically whatever color is across from each other will match to each other there's also a lot of things in the color wheel um with skin tones i have a full book on this i should have brought it downstairs it's what colors go with the right skin tones personally for me i have olive -y skin but i also have a little bit of red in my skin as well so i can pretty much wear whatever i want which is kind of a blessing because honestly i was gonna wear whatever i want anyways i don't necessarily think that it is necessary to to listen to the color wheel I think it's kind of old school and I think that you can kind of wear whatever the heck you want if you're a little bit afraid to wear like you don't know if a color is gonna look good on you this is always something that you can revert to and look at to like see is this color gonna go with my skin tone is this color going to look good on me I don't necessarily recommend like knowing it knowing it I just say like go play with your closet go see what's in there and see what goes good and honestly you know deep down inside what colors look good on you or not so layering I love layering. Layering is my best friend. I live in Canada, so it is freaking freezing. Layering is such a big, big, big way to incorporate color. Also, if you have a full colorful outfit, adding a black coat, which we'll get to in just a second. I'll talk about that in a second. Wearing this neon green underneath this beautiful jumpsuit, you know, it's there, but it's not there. It's not the, it's not the whole show, but it's the background music and you need it to complete the show. It took the look to the next level. So layering is something that I highly suggest layer under dresses, under jumpsuits, under whatever. You know, layering such a key. You could layer like turtleneck underneath of, or just like a sweater underneath of like a tank top or something like that. And it just looks, looks so, so good. Okay, black. It's great, okay? Because obviously it goes with freaking everything. But if you're like starting to really experiment with wearing color, you know, you put your whole monochrome, like Threads Obsessed told me to wear this whole monochromatic look. You look in the mirror and you're like, well, shit, this is so outside of my comfort zone. I do not feel okay right now. You go and grab your blackest shoes, your blackest jacket, whatever you can buy, your blackest bag, and you add all that to your look and you will see a difference. Even white shoes, you don't have to have black shoes, but like depending on what your look is, what color or whatever, and then you'll go look in the mirror and you go, hey, I can do this. This is like a lot better. Like this just toned down my whole entire outfit and I look more grunge. I look, especially when you're wearing colors like pink or lime green and you the more purple, like you're looking a little bit more kiddish. Adding something black will tone that down so much more and it will make you look a lot more professional a little bit more comfortable giving you that more confidence and therefore stunting that look denim denim is another one of your best bffs best friends they denim's never gone out of style since it came back different types of denim come and go but denim itself never goes out of style denim is technically still blue so it's still a color but jeans are very jeans a very very well known piece of clothing so you what if you had a pair of jeans in pink or a pair of jeans in orange or a pair of 
jeans in yellow. Is that so much out of the box? Again, this goes back to like what's on trend type of thing. So like mom jeans, super big trend, have been on trend for a while now. I have a ton of denim blue mom jeans, so why not switch it up with some more colorful mom jeans like purple or you could even go with like darker forest green so it doesn't even look like you're wearing like a super colorful item but you're still wearing a colorful item and it's still it, you will not look that out of the ordinary you will literally look the same just in a different color though if you dress it up the way that we've been talking if you're wearing forest green jeans you could wear like a forest green turtleneck make that super monochromatic add over top like a super darker or like even light or faux fur coat or maybe like a snake skin coat or something like this green coat that I'll show you right now would look so perfect with a pair of forest green pants so yeah forest green or like anything like that denim is your best friend because denim is something that's been in style not going out of style so rock them in every color every pattern every rhinestone that you own pastels okay. I look at a pastel outfit and I even feel very very childish I'm not gonna lie pastels are can be can be pretty hard to rock especially a full pastel outfit you can sometimes you're like that being said pastels are a very 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 good way of introducing color into your wardrobe because they are technically a lighter color if you're just wearing denim you could wear like a pastel turtleneck or something then that's not so much I'm talking about a full pastel outfit is a little bit tougher to pull off so good I literally love this pastel dress with this black turtleneck underneath it it just looks look it just looks like a million dollars like I literally love this look see the pastel dress by itself kind of like blends in with your skin tone especially mine like a little bit not like blends in with my skin but it isn't like pa with the black underneath it literally gives the dress a new life like it literally looks like it's a new whole new dress I don't know if that makes any sense or whatnot but adding some black to your pastel outfits can grunge it up make it look a little less I don't know fluffy there's definitely ways to rock pastels full pastel looks without looking like a five-year-old and they the one on the screen I will totally I don't really know which ones I'm showing you other than that dress right now but cute if you style them in the correct way my next tip along with the monochromatic type of situation is color blocking so color blocking is when you have either like double pieces of clothing or just one dress and it's like broken down into colors so you could have like red on top and then you have blue and then you have yellow primary colors yet again but color blocking is also a very easy way to start to wear some colors it's a little bit harder than wearing a monochromatic look but again if you know your color combinations you can totally figure out your color blocking situation it's easy especially if they are just like plain pieces that color blocking can be super simple to do and if you're feeling completely lost but you want to wear some color definitely try some color blocking so I thought that I would talk a little bit about neon in this video because I have been loving neon personally um, and I've been wearing a ton of neon it's very very on trend right now so how the heck do you wear neon Melissa because it's like such a hard trend to like really get onto so if you're just like starting out just like try it in a beanie or try it in a hat matching neon colors together again with pastels like pastels look really good together love looking at it together not everybody's cup of tea because you kind of look like you're from the 1980s and you're just in the wrong era especially for people who don't really follow trends and stuff right now are just like looking at me like girl what the heck are you doing neon with snake print and neon with cheetah print and neon with neon and neon with black and neon with white it's just like looks like such a vibe like you could wear a full white out outfit just add like a touch of neon in your hat or a touch of neon in your in your shoes or neon belt neon shoes neon hat and it just like looks so good when you have a piece of clothing that is like a crazy colorful pattern or just like very very out there so I have these beautiful pants by loudmouth and they're so out there they're crazy they have a bunch of colors in them but I absolutely love them totally my cup of tea and I have had these for so long and this is the perfect video how to style them so first of all you can if you have a piece like this you can just let it speak for yourself for itself because it's such a loud piece I mean the brand is literally called loudmouth of these pants so it is such a bold piece so all you got to do is add some black pieces like black turtle black bag black shoes and just let have its piece but the other way you could do it is when you're looking at this very extremely colorful piece of clothing which if you're you have like a bunch of vintage blouses or pants like this or colorful pants just look at them and like look at the color that stands out so when you're looking at the pants or the piece of item look at the color in you know, one color that seriously catches your eye and try to find a piece of clothing in your wardrobe that is like around the same color as that one 
these loudmouth pants green the green color really caught my eye obviously you see the background is black but there's like a bunch of light colors in there the green really caught my eye and I was like yo, yo okay I have the perfect perfect sifomi colored green to match with this pattern and when you put it on it just looks so good if you have like a super statement piece you can let it be a statement or try to pull a color out of that statement and just have like a plain colored top with it my final tip which is a little bit more difficult is mixing and matching different patterns and colors you can see a lot of this um if you like go on vogue.com for when the runway shows and like fashion and stuff like that is all around um when they're having new york fashion week or paris fashion week you see a lot of streetwear and street styles a lot of mixing and matching and prints and fashion and that's like my favorite method wearing color is mixing and matching tons of prints together i love the look of it and i just think it, like if, if it's done the right way you can look absolutely perfect cheetah print polka dots and stripes are the three colorful patterns or just patterns in general that if you have in your wardrobe you can match with just about anything the polka dots can look good with the stripes the stripes can look good with the cheetah print the cheetah print can look good with the polka dot I think I don't know which one I said all end up looking good together especially you know if they're um, in the same color um, textures and tones like you want to stay mixing and matching different colors and patterns and stuff like that is another way to start to wear some um, some color and incorporate it into your wardrobe. I will show you guys some examples of course, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video of how to wear color. I hope you guys got some inspo, some fashion inspo for this video. I had a lot of fun filming it, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If, if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below before you leave. Follow me on all my social media and I will see you guys in the next video.